With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. See, the question has been given why the total energy of atomic electron is negative. So, we have to explain why the total energy of an electron in an isolated not in an isolated condition but in an atomic model is zero how we can explain it we know that at infinite we know that at infinite distance from the uh, from an atom if i um, draw an atom suppose it uh, containing a positive charged nucleus and a electron which is rotating revolving around it and an electron is placed far away from the uh, atom right at infinite distance at infinity we know that at infinity total energy of electron is zero so uh, if we want that electron from here and move it to near the atom it will lose its energy right so electron will lose energy since it will lose energy what will happen energy will be liberated energy will be liberated so if energy is liberating then its minus sign and hence the total energy of atomic electron becomes a negative condition because from higher electron state at infinite it's coming to a electrostatic repulsion it's uh, actually it's a uh, if i take at distance d suppose distance d1 and at a distance d2 if i move electron then at a potential energy will be given by k z d into e by d1 square potential energy at position at i suppose at d1 and potential energy at suppose position d2 k z d square by d2 square since d1 greater than d2 potential energy of 1 is less than potential energy of 2 so from we can say electron will be at higher potential energy when it will be near electron and it will be experiencing more electrostatic energy and hence it should release electron energy to form a stable state hence the total energy is negative i think i am able to explain you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and after today